The Centre for Research Excellence in Urban Aboriginal Child Health is a partnership between four Aboriginal medical services, a number of different research organisations including the Australian National University and a number of policy agencies. It's actually a community initiated centre and it identifies and tries to address community initiated priorities. So the main problem we were trying to address is really those problems in urban Aboriginal child health that are most common and are causing the greatest difficulties. So we followed over 1,600 children who were attending the four participating Aboriginal medical services and we looked at the major health problems that they had. We found that problems with ear health and problems with speech and language were among the most common. Around 10% of the children had some sort of hearing impairment, around a third had some sort of ear health problem and around half had some sort of problem with speech and language. So we identified these problems as very common. So we used the framework of the Centre for Research Excellence to initiate the HEALS project and that involved the Sydney Children's Hospital Network, the four participating Aboriginal medical services and additional health services and a network of coordinating centres and we also had funding from New South Wales Health and the Commonwealth. We identified a fu funding to provide services to these children and through the Aboriginal medical services we were able to deliver care to, well, we were able to deliver over 6,000 occasions of care in both ear health and speech and language. So speech and language and ear health problems are really significant for children and one of the main reasons is that not only is it caused suffering in itself, it's at a time when the child is learning and building their future. And what we found through this provision of service was a lot of uh, testaments from uh, the, the children and their families that they could actually communicate much better, they could be much better understood and they were able to participate more fully. And also what we found was that sometimes some behavioural issues that had been identified in the children were much improved by the child actually being able to communicate more effectively. So there seemed to be a very positive effect both on the child but also on their family and their ability to interact positively with their family.